This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting, proudly sponsored Vampire Fight Storm, joined by victorious Alfie Winter. Alfie, that's your second fight in your pro career. How do you feel? I feel great, mate. No, it was good. Um, I'll go away from that and I'll, and I'll analyse sort of thing. It's hard to say fresh, like, out of the ring and, and hard to be critical and, or, or sort of praise how you fought. I'll, I'll go back and I'll look at it and see how I've done. How many times do you need to watch your fight back for you to kind of get a real assessment of your performance? Um... Your last fight example, how many times do you watch that back and then you write the tips down that you need to improve? Yeah, so uh, oh, I sort of lose count, to be honest, Fred. Like, I go back and I watch it 20 times, 30 times, and like, I'll still go back, even in, in five or six fights times, I'll, I'll go back and watch it again and again. Like, it's, it's good to reflect on like, how far you've come and everything else. Certainly, and they've got the, obviously fight zone here would have filmed it very well. It's not like a ringside little view on an old iPhone. It's proper nice 4K camera, so you definitely will get everything you need. So it would just talk to you about your opponent. Obviously, he was a tough Russian and very experienced. Do you feel that he didn't come to win? Do you think that might have been the issue? Um, yeah, a lot of these boys, they come in and they, and they look to just get the rounds in. I think I've looked at his schedule and he's out boxing next week, the week after, the week after that. So obviously, they don't want to get stopped. So they're not looking to be in there and mixing it with you, which is what I'd, what I'd rather is someone who comes to have a better go and, um, and they're there for the shots then. Do you feel that that was kind of the issue? Maybe it was an opponent who came to it and then you could have forced a stoppage? Um, nah, like he's there to throw shots and, and he's, there to, he's there to do a job. But um, a lot of big respect to him. He's very tough and, and, and I did learn a lot in there, so I can't look at it negatively at all. Obviously, these two fights are your pro career. These are kind of your learning fights. How much do you take from each of them? Massive, massive. Me and Kev will go back to the gym and take bits from, from how that went in there and work on them. Anything I need to fix or, or strengthen or uh, even, even things I've done well, we'll work on them. So we'll leave no stone unturned for the next one. Certainly. Sounds pretty nice. I know I kind of got to address the cut you've got up on your, on your eyebrow. What happened there? Yeah, um... It's hard to say whether it was deliberate or not. I'll watch it back and I'll be able to say. But um, it felt like he, he did lunge forward with his head. But it was a little bit short. I say he's at awkward height for the heads. But you can't really say. Certainly. And that was like the last round, wasn't it? So that, was quite, that was the last round you got cast. That's quite frustrating. How, do you know how long you'll be out for until you can start sparring again? Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I haven't had many cuts as a boxer. Um, they say 28 days, but... We'll see. Like, I'm keen to get back out and get fighting again. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get back out as soon as eight weeks, but potentially something a little bit later than that, maybe 10 or 12, we'll get back out. Certainly, as a prospect, you don't want to be saying as actually as possible. And you'd, uh, when I was walking in trying to find where the boxing fight was, I could just hear the crowd, how loud they were. How many tickets did you sell tonight? Because they certainly made noise. Oh, I didn't sell many, to be honest. I only got them last week, but just over 100 or something like that, nothing major. But... Uh, yeah, if I had a little bit more notice, I'd do a few more. But big thank you to everyone who came to watch. The support was mad and really enjoyed it. Awesome. I know the kind of tickets will build up for your pro career, but Alfie, where can people find you? If they want to contact you for tickets or anything like that, where can they find you social media-wise? I do all my tickets through my Instagram. That's alfiewinter underscore. Awesome. I'll put that link in the description. Alfie, we'll catch us soon then, mate. Thanks very much, Fred.